Hi, I'm Alicia from Royal Wise Solutions, and I'm here to tell you about some of the features of Apple Macintosh's 10.8 Mountain Lion, specifically some of the system preferences that will change the behavior of your Windows and really make it easier to use your computer. So I'm going to open up the system preferences either from down here on the dock or you can also go up to the Apple on the Apple menu and drop that down and choose system preferences from here. Once I'm in my system preferences, I'll click on the general button. Now let's take it from the top. The first one is appearance and by default it's blue. Your other choice is graphite and it tells you here that it's for buttons, menus, and windows. This refers to the color of the highlight. So right now it's blue, and if I change this to graphite, then my drop downs and my OK buttons and my cancel buttons would all be gray instead. Now I like it as blue because it gives me some visual cues as to what I'm actually doing, so I'll leave that as blue. Next, the highlight color is what happens when you drag across your text. By default, it's blue, but you can change it to any color you want for some extra pizzazz. I'll change mine to purple. Next, let's look at the sidebar icon size. This is referring to your finder menu. Restate, no, excuse me. This, will, this refers to your finder window down in the lower left-hand corner. I'll go ahead and poke my blue guy in the nose, and it's looking at these icons right here. So if I change this to small, they'll get very little, and if I change it to large, they'll get very big. Now you may find that you need to resize your column to make this work. So if I hold my cursor over the column edge, I'll get a double-headed arrow, and I can make this smaller or larger as needed. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to medium. Next, let's look at the scroll bars. By default, it's automatically based on the mouse or the trackpad. And why this can be a problem is if you do have some files restate. No, stop saying restate. Sorry, everybody. Um, if you want to scroll up and down, you don't see a scroll bar until you actually do your two-finger drag, and then you see your scroll bar. But almost everybody feels that this is a pain. So instead of automatically, I like to change this to always then my scroll bar is always there. I never have to look for it. I never have to figure out where to scroll up or down. Now, there's two different behaviors for the scroll bar, jumping to the next page and jump to the spot that's clicked. What that's referring to is the slider. Now, the slider is proportional in length, and it shows you how much of the total distance you can see. So while this window is fairly small, I can see almost all of it. But if this window was a little bit larger, it disappears. Or if I shrink it up just a little bit, I can see how much I can actually see. Right now, for example, I can only see a tiny bit of all of what's available. Now while it says jump to the next page, if I click above or below, it will jump one screen at a time. But if I change this to jump to the spot that's clicked, it will jump to where I am proportionally in this open space. So if I click at the very top, it will jump to the very top. And if I click a third of the way down, it will go to a third of the way down. I like the setting. That way I can click to exactly where in the list I'm trying to get to. Now let's take a look at these two settings. Mountain Lion has a new feature called Resume. And you've probably noticed that if you open up a a file that you, I'm, I'm sorry, if you open up a program that you've used recently, all the windows that you had open will open up exactly where they were before. So for example, if I open up text edit, I'm going to go up to spotlight and type in T-E-X-T -E and my text edit opens and the document that I had open the last time I used text edit opens up automatically. Most of the time I like this because I frequently have to work on one file in more than one session, so I don't have to root around and open up what I was already working on. And when I am done, I just hit the red dot in the corner to close it, and that tells me that I'm completely finished. But old behavior before Mountain Lion was if you quit the program, it would reset the entire application and open up with blank documents the next time you opened it. So if you do prefer that behavior, you can put a check mark in front of close windows when quitting an application 
then when I quit text edit, it will always automatically start with a blank document instead. Personally, like I said, I like having it open up my previous windows so that I can just pick up where I left off, but some people will find this check mark very handy. One of the other features of Mountain Lion is an auto save that when you're using any of the Apple applications like pages or numbers or text edit, it will automatically save your changes when you quit the program. So if I make a bunch of changes to this document and I quit text edit, that change will be there the next time I open up the document. In the past, when I quit text edit, it, since I did not actually save the document, this would not be there. So if you're used to making some changes but not saving them and going back to the way it was the next time, you might want to put a check mark here in front of ask to keep changes when closing the documents. That way it won't automatically save, it'll always give you the option, the choice. So if I check off both of these, you'll see here when I go back to text edit and I quit, First, it will ask me if I want to save my changes, and I can either revert the document or save it as is. And then because I close the windows when quitting the application, the next time I open up text edit, it'll open up to a blank document or no document at all instead of my previous files. Personally, I have come to really appreciate both of these two behaviors so I'm going to uncheck mine, but checking these boxes will probably solve some of your problems. Last but not least of the ones that I want you to change are the recent items. And you saw when I came up to the Apple and I went to recent items up here, I could see my 10 most recent applications and my 10 most recent documents. But I like to change this actually to 20 or maybe even 30. That way, the next time I come up, after I've opened up some more documents, these lists will keep on growing, and that will make it very easy to get back to what I've already been working on. So I do invite you to try and get used to some of Mountain Lion's new behaviors. All of them have been put in place to save you time so that you don't have to open up existing documents and so that uh, you don't have extra visual clutter on your screen. But if you want to get if you want to change the behavior back to the way your Apple is used to operate, to how you're used to having it operate, go ahead and work with these settings.